Hi, this is Info Puppet. Hey, I gotta tell ya, I really think you're gonna like this tutorial. You might not know this, I'm gonna tell you a little secret about Photoshop Elements. There's tons of different calendar templates hidden in Photoshop Elements. I'm gonna show you where they are and show you how easy it is to make a calendar of your family with your family pictures in it or one for your business. So check out my next Photoshop Elements tutorial. So we have Photoshop Elements open up and we're gonna not even go to the toolbar. We're just gonna go up here on the right hand side where you see edit, create, and share. We're gonna click on create. And this little project bin opens up. I'm gonna show you why I love this project bin. So right now I'm just gonna open up an image. File, open, and let's see, what should we go here? How, oh, there, there's a good info puppet folder. And now I'm going to go to the, uh, let's see. Oh, how about this info puppet picture? And there you go. Now, the first picture you select is going to be the cover of the calendar. Now, what I'm doing right now is I've got it in uh, kind of fast motion. I'm selecting the other 12 images. You want a total of 13 images, 12 for each, each month, and then one for the cover of your calendar. So, we're just going through and we're selecting our images. And you can see they're appearing in the project bin at the bottom as we're selecting our images. Okay? So look, here we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We've got nine so far. So I'm gonna go ahead and select another one and let's see, uh, yeah, yeah, that looks good. And there's my 10th one. Now after 10, you're probably not gonna see them anymore in the project bin. And I'm gonna show you where you're gonna find them though, so you don't see these. That one. There you go. There's my 13. Now you have to scroll down here like that, and there's the other three. Okay, so I've got my 13 images. Now I'm going to show you how unbelievably easy this is. First of all, you can rearrange them if you don't like the order that they're in by left clicking, holding, and dragging. Boom. See what I mean? And look, I can left click, hold, and drag, and there you go. Very easy. You don't have to work and left clicking and dragging, but it doesn't matter if you don't have them in the right order when you first open them up. Very, very easy to move around. Even if you got one down here, you can also left click, hold and drag that and place it somewhere, wherever you want, like that, okay, right there. So very easy to rearrange these things in your project bin. So just open up some images, you can rearrange them later. Now I'm gonna click on photo calendar and that's it, that's it. Well, you can select the uh, month and the year if you like to, otherwise you can just click on OK, but there's all different years, but look at the different templates, look how awesome these, you get an animation for each different calendar. This is Celebration, and here's a Christmas calendar, I love it, this is called Colorful, there's a lot of them, we're just looking at these, I'm going to go to Celebration for now, and again, uh, all I have to do now is, uh, oh, you want to make sure Autofill with Selected Images is on, and then click OK. And Photoshop Elements goes to work. And it's now creating your calendar for it. Usually it takes about 15 to 20 seconds for your calendar to be created. But stand by because the magic's going to happen. There you go. That's just the cover. Wait till you see what the pages look like. You got to hang with me here. Now you can click here if you want and put the title of your calendar. I'm just going to knock that out and type Info Puppets Calendar. I'm going to reposition that. You see how it's uh, behind the different decorations there. Okay, now, all I'm going to click on, and look, look at that. There's January. I just clicked on the little blue arrow. And I'm telling you, this is great for you to put your own family's images in a calendar, or if you have a business, this is a, a great tool to end up with a professional calendar. Let's look at February and March, like March, and April, and May, but you get the idea. Pretty, pretty easy stuff, and you end up with a professional calendar that you can use for your family or your business. I hope you enjoyed this video. Hey, if you can do me a favor and push on the subscribe button, I really appreciate it. Thanks again for watching. Hey, love you guys from Info Puppet.